we go, guys. Wednesday. Three down. Two to go. Been a really crazy week. Um, haven't seen y'all in a while. Y'all haven't seen me in a while. Haven't made a video since sometime last week. The last time I was talking football on YouTube was with Fifth Quarter Cowboys uh, in Cowboys Corner. I went on their live streams this past weekend. Fifth Quarter does fifty. Uh, Fifth Quarter does Freaky Friday, and. Uh, Cowboys Corner has a new segment now on Saturday um, called, I think, Saturday or something like that. I can't. Sorry, man. I couldn't remember exactly what you called it. But um, he said it was inspiration from 1980. So when y'all can, check out Fifth Quarter, Fifth Freaky Friday. Uh, it's around 8, 9 o'clock-ish in the evening. And uh, so is uh, Cowboys Corner uh, around the same time on Saturday evening. Uh, it's just off-season talk. We're in the I think season, so uh, everybody thinks they know what the hell they're talking about with the Cowboys, so we just talk Cowboy stuff. But anyway, guys, I was doing a little research, and um, there are a lot of Dak lovers out there, and there are a lot, there are a lot of Dak haters out there. Um, with the Dallas, With his performance, not just his performance, but the Dallas Cowboys' performance, I've been kind of in the middle. I've supported Dak, and I'm like, you know, I, I like Dak, and he's 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 a great player at times, but there's some times where he's just like like that last playoff game against Green Bay. He's just been kind of, uh, why, why did you do that, man? Why did you throw that? Why didn't you, you know? Um, So it, it's hard to, it's hard to really, really go all in on Dak Prescott when the way he performs in the playoffs. And that's not just the Dak Prescott thing. It's a team thing as well. Um, Dak Prescott had a, a great, actually stat-wise, a pretty good season. They were talking MVP talks for this guy. And uh, he he was awesome. He was okay. I'm not saying the greatest, but he was pretty good during the, during the regular season. And I hope I didn't say preseason. I think I meant regular season. <laughs> but uh, y'all know what I mean. Um, so, uh, you know, it's... It, and I call him a regular season quarterback. I've been calling him that lately because the results I need are in the regular season, you know, um, uh, not so well against the, the better teams with better defenses, but um, I don't know. I just, I'm still waiting on Dak to um, be who we all need him to be. Uh, I did a little research on his contract and um Dak Prescott has void years in his contract, which means that they can convert those void years into signing bonuses. So rather him being a $59 million quarterback, he can be a, and taking that cap hit, he can be a $40 million, $41 million, you know, it could be a $41 million cap hit. Um, he has no franchise tag clause, so you can't tag him. He has no trade clause in his contract, so we can't trade him. Every Cowboy fan in my comment section, oh, we'll just trade him and get some picks, and we can just trade him and put in Trey Lance, and we can just trade him and yada, yada, yada. Dak's a smart dude. Him and his agent, they're very smart. Uh, so they, they, they kind of pull the wool over the Cowboys. And... Uh, once again, pin Jerry them up against the corner. And boom, there you go. Uh, we can't trade him. We can't tag him. So the best thing to do, the only thing we can probably do, is um, get him some help. Like, that's probably the only thing. And that's what I think that's what we're all been, what we've all been saying is um, we know Tyler, Tony Pollard is not that guy. I said that in the beginning of the season. I said, guys, go back and look. Please go back and look. I got receipts. I've said that. I said, Tony Pollard is not that guy. Tony Pollard's a pretty good running back. He's a good second stream, maybe third stream running back. He's a guy that can, he's a good sweep guy. He's a good guy that can catch balls out of the backfield. 
He's not a, a, a bell cow right behind the quarterback, boom, 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 right up the middle, right up the gut type quarterback. Emmitt Smith, uh, prime Ezekiel Elliott back in 2016, 17. Uh, you know, guys like that, he's not that type of running back. He's a, he, he has to have that hole. And our offensive line isn't what it what it used to be, so I can't see him doing too too well, uh, being that first string running back. He's not that he, his style is different. He's built like a wide receiver, and um, at the time nobody believed me. You know, oh, you know, Pollard's gonna be fine. We'll we'll be all right, Pollard, because they were going off how Pollard's performance was behind Zeke. You know that one two punch, and. Um, like I say, he's a very good backup. He's just not a good number one. And I think that's, I've proven my point. I made my point. He made my point this past season. Um, So uh, the best thing to do, like I've been saying, is we got to rebuild this offensive line. We got to get another tackle. Um, uh, We might have to get two tackles because Tyron Smith is, uh, we don't know if he's going he, he's gonna to come back. I wish he would go ahead and ride off into the sunset and retire because uh, he's always injured, you know, but when he is in the game, he's still pretty dominant. He just doesn't have that agility anymore. So he's aging. Uh, Terrence Steele. Uh, we saw his performance this season. Wasn't very good. So I think we got to get some young offensive linemen, some tackles and uh, a running back. You can find, a, you can still find a pretty good running back in the second or third round. I know the Dallas Cowboys are not going to move on from Dak Prescott. They've invested too much money into Dak Prescott. They don't like being wrong. Uh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type shit. That's just what this is a family organization. It's not like other organizations where they're cleaning house right now and firing people and cutting people. You know, the Dallas Cowboys run a little different. They run off of more of a family business than what makes sense. They always do the opposite of what we want. When Mike McCarthy, we all kind of wanted him gone. We wanted something different. This is the same guy that calls, that goes in the shotgun formation on, on third and goal, you know, on the goal line instead of just running the ball in. But I guess we don't have a, 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 a consistent running back, so maybe that's why he was going in shotgun formation. Or, or he knows our line isn't going to get any push, so maybe that's why he was going in shotgun formation on the goal line. I don't know, but it was still stupid. They, they do the total opposite, like I just said, of what the, the fan base wants and what we need because they think we don't know what we're talking about. A lot of us have played the game uh, at different levels and been watching the Cowboys, been watching not only the Cowboys but sports, just football in general, period, for a long, long time. And some of us may be coaching somewhere or maybe refereed somewhere down the line. You know, who knows? But they think we don't know what we're talking about just because we're just fans. They don't look at us no further than just being fans. You, you get They don't care what we do for a living. They don't care what kind of experience we've had in the game. They don't give a shit. They just see us as fans, and that's it. They see us as fans. We don't know what we're talking about just because we're not, we're not them. So uh, that's why I say they don't, they don't care about us like that, man. They don't care what we want. It ain't about us. It's about them. It's about them putting money in their pocket. And uh, that's it. But, um, yeah, man, that's just my opinion. I just had to do a little research because I was trying to see what, what the best route would to go because um, Dak Prescott is not a bad quarterback. He just falls apart. He gets really flustered in tight situations. And I can I, can I say that at least? Because, man, when you talk about Dak, it's, it's so sensitive. People get so sissified so punctified about Dak Prescott. And uh, it's really, really hard to talk about it. But uh, I've supported Dak. If you go, don't judge me off of one video. See, a lot of people, the, the last video I made about Dak Prescott, they judge me. Not that I give a damn, but I'm just going to talk about it and bring it up right now. They judge me. I've, I've, I've been reading my comments section, and I've been getting a lot of ignorant, trifling-ass comments about how I feel about Dak. Don't judge me off of one video that you've seen you uh, these are new people i can tell they knew because i've never seen them before and they they judge me off of one video they don't go back and be like hmm, i wonder how this guy really feels about dak and what he's been saying through the years let me do my re you know look common sense let me do my research no 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 these dumbasses they go off of one video and comment off of that one video and uh at the time 
you, you're gonna get your feelings hurt with the with the most recent video because I'm upset with the Cowboys. I'm upset with Dak Prescott. I'm upset with CD Lamb. I'm upset with the coaching staff. I'm upset with Jerry Jones. I have every right. I'm a grown ass man. I've been watching this game, I've been a fan for 40 plus years. So I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm upset with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm upset that we didn't get past, you know, the first round of the playoffs. I'm upset that every year it's always the same bullshit. I'm upset because Jerry Jones don't want to win. He All he think about is money and getting your money and, you know, you spending your hard-earned money on season tickets and uh, win, money first, win second. I'm upset for so, so, with, for so many things concerning the Cowboys. I'm, I'm here to win championships. I'm here to talk about the Dallas Cowboys. I'm not here for anything else. Uh, Dak Prescott is not going anywhere, so we might as well hang that up. They're not going to put in Trey Lance. They're not going to do any of that thing, those things. They're not going to do anything that I want or maybe you want. Now, the whole Trey Lance thing, I don't know about that. I'm still kind of iffy about that. Um, so <laughs> if if he can come up and, and do good in training camp or something like that, hell, he might not even be with us next. I mean, this coming up season. So who knows about that, man? But that that's all I got, man. Um I just wanted to talk about that, and maybe you guys already knew about that, his contract, all those clauses and shit, and uh, some adjustments that they can make to Dak's, uh, Dak Prescott's contract to, so it won't be just a super big hit. You know, I hopefully that, 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 that that's probably the only route that they can go, you know, using some of those voids and uh, turning, him, turning them into signing bonuses. So it won't be like a $59, $60 million hit. It'll be more of like a 41 you know, 40, 41 million dollar hit. So I'd rather have a 40 million dollar hit than a 60 million dollar hit. You know, maybe we can do a little something with that. But let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section, man. I just wanted to run my mouth a little bit while I'm sitting here waiting. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you.